I've lost a lot of blood. But in his defense, uh, it must be very nerve-wracking to come out here and shave in front of this group of people. But his, I guess so. His hand was sure. like that, and, and he got me a couple Did he of, nick you? Yeah. I don't think we need a head tourniquet, per se. <laughs> Do you have that great feeling that you get after a professional shave, though? It's just, I want to go out and conquer the world kind of feeling clean. No, I, I, I don't have that feeling right now. Uh, this, is, this is my first professional shave. I've only had amateur shaves prior to this. I see. But it's, uh, I think if I were to go down to the shop, I'd probably get a... <laughs> yeah, this is, this is, this looks like almost anybody you'd see. Oh, uh, never mind. What? Never mind. What? Never... Okay. Uh, nothing, no, just okay. uh, a reference that I thought I'd spare you all. <laughs> Our uh, first guest uh, has one. Uh, this is the kind of guy I always end up sitting next to on the train. Uh, our first guest has won an Oscar, three Tonys, uh, and an Emmy, and also a handful of Golden Globe Awards. Her latest film is called Arthur II, and it opens Friday all across this country. Folks, please say hello to Liza Minnelli. I uh, saw you earlier in the hallway. <clears throat> I've never seen you before, and thank yeah. you very much. Oh, honey, I, I, I mean, what we do, there. huh? Yeah, yeah. This is real. Uh, I feel badly for him because he's a very nice man and obviously does a great job. But, uh, Usually, yeah. yes. Uh, anyway, well, so it's I... true. It's nerve-wracking being on this show, oh, you know. Oh, yeah, it's almost impossible. See, it's... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I, I, I saw you in the hallway earlier. I'd never seen you in person before, and, and uh, then, as now, you just look great. Thank you. Yeah, I was... <laughs> how, uh, how did you celebrate the 4th of July? We went out on a boat. Mm -hmm. You went on a boat, too, didn't you? Mm, no. Where, where did you go? I went, I went on um, Peter Max's boat. And I think it was his <laughs> boat, or he rented it or something. Uh -huh. And we went out into the middle of the Hudson, and watch the fire. It was fantastic. Oh, see, that sounds like a great time. Well, it was great, except it was long. Yeah, what time you did know, you leave? 6.45. Yeah. We got back at 11. That's a long time. Yeah, so... Also, uh, the Hudson looked like a, the, you know, the expressway. I've never seen so many boats. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that, that's a nice way to celebrate the holiday. It was lovely. Yeah. Well, what was the last time uh, you went on vacation? Where'd you go? What'd you do then? I went to the south of France. Oh. And it sounds swell, doesn't it? Yeah. Actually, it was swell. And my husband and I went on a, a, another boat. And we stopped at all the little ports and just shopped and just relaxed, mm -hmm. you know, got out of the... So who's your husband? Runway. My husband's Mark Jarrow, mm -hmm. and he's a sculptor. Sculptor? Yeah. And uh, you've been married to him for... We've been married for almost nine years. Yeah. And what kind of things does he do? You mean his sculpture? Yeah. Well, his last exhibit was called Tits and Horns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was. And it was basically uh... But he's a legitimate artist, isn't he? Yeah, oh, yes. I mean, this, this is not novelty shop stuff. This oh, is no. not like rubber no, no, vomit this... and things like that. No, this is the real deal. No, this is the real thing. Yeah. It's, it's abstract stuff, but I still thought it looked like tits and horns. I see. Well, oh, no. ha! Um, <laughs> it's true. No, he's a wonderful artist, and he, he sells out of the wine shop gallery. Yeah. But, uh... He's brave, and he, he does kind of unusual things. Now, now you mentioned, I mean, uh, your life uh, from this little discussion that we've had here. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, I may need a transfusion. <laughs> um, from what you've just mentioned here, you're out on the Hudson looking at fireworks. Your husband uh, is an artist. You go to the south of France. It sounds to me like you have um, a very dreamlike life. Is, th is that a safe assumption? No. <laughs> no, that's not really? a safe assumption. Well, how do you describe your daily existence, then? I guess it's, I, it's, a lot of it is pressure, yeah. you know, which uh, in some cases is terrific because it makes you come up to par in other places and at other times it's just nerve-wracking. Yeah. So you deal with it kind of on a daily basis. What, what kind of pressure? Now you're not talking about the kind of pressure that you uh, get from shopping in the south of France. No, I'm no. not talking about that kind of pressure. I guess I'm talking about, it's like you, I mean you live under enormous pressure <laughs> you know, every day. <laughs> No, I, you know, 
know, I mean, to, to make sure that the show is right and that people laugh and that, that you're entertaining. And that it, I mean, that's a lot of I mean, stuff to How many days out with. of the year do you work? Are you working pretty much around the calendar? Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. And would you, would you like to work a little less? No, I'm happy. Yeah. I mean, I, I, evidently I groove on the pressure. I wouldn't be doing it, right? Yeah. Uh, let me ask you here a show business question. Okay. This is a, this is a talk show kind of question. <laughs> Uh, and what, what better place for it, come to think of it. Uh, so you've been in show business, I guess, since you were in your mid-teens. You've been around show business all your life, and you're continuing in it now. Is, is there uh, any aspect of it that you're just fed up with, uh, aside from tonight, perhaps? <laughs> no, because I, I think you can't ever... I don't know, I just keep wanting to get better at what I do. So it, it's like there's, uh, there's no boundaries of... of where you would stop or I think you'd have to really stop liking what you do oh sure to but, stop doing the whole thing but you're thing. talking about the actual performance part I've of it I've never spoken with a man who's bleeding <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not what I've heard um, <laughs> but you know you're talking about actually getting out there and doing the show I'm talking about the uh, you know getting to the show the traveling staying in hotels and stuff yeah. is there any of that you just think to yourself if I have to check into another hotel and unpack I'm just uh, I'm gonna quit no I like it really yeah yeah you spent a lot of time in hotels as a kid too didn't you? yeah I, I grew up mostly in hotels no was that was that fun was that uh, did you think it was unusual that you were living in hotels as a child yeah I thought it was unusual but I thought I could get away with murder and I did yeah you know, I mean, you, you, you get away with what you can get away with. Now, did you get to go to school <laughs> while you were traveling in those days? Yeah, I went to 22 schools. 22 schools? Yeah. Some I just ran through. I didn't even see anybody. <laughs> and and the, these were public schools, private schools, tutors? You name it, I've been there. You've been there. And did, yeah. did you end up getting reasonable degrees? Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> I, I ended up getting zip. You got nothing. You know? I got nothing except what I learned later. We, uh, what are we doing? We have to do a commercial, and uh, then you're going to sing for us. Okay. All right? All right. We'll be right back there. <laughs> I have a feeling that you and I are almost identically uh, the same age. I have a feeling we are. I was born in April uh, 47. I'm no, I'm older than you are. I'm 41. I'm older than you are. I was born in March of 46. Oh, so you're just like we are, virtually the same age then, aren't we? If you say so, that's fine with me. <laughs> well, no, what is March of 46? That means you're what, 42? Yeah. Well, I'm 41, so I was right. I mean, if I were... You are, we're very close. If you this were, were right. at a carnival, you wouldn't get a prize. <laughs> This is true. I would have guessed your age. Um, what do you now? The the movie is coming out in uh, two weeks or this week, whenever. When is it coming out? I don't know. I think it's this week. Friday. It's coming in uh, Friday. Was it uh, turned out all right? I think so. Yeah. Now, now, would you ever do this? Would you ever go look at the original Arthur, which you probably thought turned out just great, <laughs> right? I thought it was funny. Yeah. yeah. Now, would you ever look at that and then look at this one and think, mm, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> No, I haven't thought of that, but maybe I'll do it now. But, but how do you think you know? the, the, the sequel uh, stacks up with the original one? I think it's good, because what they did was they continued the story. They didn't try and just rehash the first one. Yeah. You know, they tried to put a plot to it and make things happen, and, and I think they succeeded. Yeah. And Dudley's wonderful in it. I yeah. think he's very fun. Uh, and what else are you doing? You are working, you, the, the film is coming out and you're working with uh, Frank Sinatra, is that right? I haven't done that yet, with, yeah. with uh, Sammy Davis Jr. and Frank Sinatra. When does that begin? I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> it starts, no, it starts in uh, September. A car comes for you in the middle of the night. Talk about challenging. <laughs> um, and tonight, and tonight you're going to sing uh, with Paul and our band. Now, Paul and the band is very, very good. I know they are. Now, but are they, are they going to be all right for you? They're perfect. Yeah, okay, all right. Perfect, sir. You, you're you, perfect, Paul. Thank you. What, what are you going to sing? I'm going to sing God Bless the Child that's got his own. God bless the Little child. Little Billy Holiday. All right. Whatever you need. Thank you very much. Good luck to you. Rise in the Them that's got shall get. Them that's not shall. So the Bible says, 
And it still is news Mama may have And Papa may have But God bless the child that's got his own And the strong get more While the weak ones stay Empty pockets don't ever make the grave Mama may have And Papa may have But God bless the child that's got his own That's got his own Relations may give you a crust of bread and such. Say it, help. Go on, help yourself. But don't take too much. Mama may have, and Papa may have. But God bless the child that's got his own. Sinatra, and you and these guys just go out and work. Very nice. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you very much. Have a good summer. We'll be right back after station identification. Bye.